Hi everyone, it's Review Realm Ranger here. Today, we're gonna be looking into Yoto Wireless Headphones, a product specifically built and designed for kids with safety features and usability. So if you're ready, let's get started. What we have here is the Yoto Wireless Headphones with Bluetooth technology. Uh, when you first order them, what you're going to find in the box is the set of the Yoto headphones, a pouch, a cloth to clean any dirt and dust, two cables, auxiliary, USB-A to USB-C, and instructions about the buttons and the functionality, and a short safety instructions. Now, these headphones at glance are very well built and very sturdy, they feel durable and it will fit a uh, majority of the ages. They are though um, um, uh, dedicated and specifically built for children age three plus. I have two boys, uh, uh, five and seven. They well aware of how to take care of, um, you know, kind of the gifts that they receive. And, uh, and they having been using them for two to three weeks, um, they still in a one piece, which is, which is a good thing. Now, these headphones are foldable. They fit in a pouch very nicely with all the accessories that you can possibly uh, have for the headphones. They are nice and soft on the band, on the outside and inside. On the outside, we have the fruit punch orange color with a Yoto logo. And inside we have a white color. Now, they are foldable, like I've mentioned. They are adjustable as well. So you can adjust the speaker on both sides. And they have little wiggle in the speaker area. So when your kids put them on their ears, on their heads, they will gently adjust to the head shape. Inside we have a cable. This cable is quite thick. When pulling it with a little bit of force, um, you're not going to cause any damage. However, if, you know, if, if a smaller, uh, younger age kids get their hands on it and they start playing with the headphones and pulling the cable, um, I am certain that they would be able to develop a fault that would render the headphones unusable. Now, on the inside, you have the earmuff, very soft, nicely covering entire surface of the ear uh, of my kids. And they have not complained about the, the, the headphones being too heavy or the ears getting tired or sweaty and so on. I will add the conversation with my uh, seven-year-old um, just to give you a little bit more of an insight of what he thinks about them and what he likes about them. Hey, buddy, how are you doing today? Good. Yeah? Enjoying the day so far? Yeah. Okay, so you know that I'm doing videos uh, for other parents about the Yoto product. Yes. Okay, so what I would like you to do is to share your thoughts about the Yoto headphones so the parents can consider purchasing the headphones for their kids. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay, cool. So obviously you've been wearing the headphones for quite a long time. We were on holidays and you've been using them. Can you tell me what is it that you like about them? It's the sound. It's quite good. What is it good about the sound? It's because you can control it from the Yoto and on the headphones. Oh, brilliant. Is the sound, so when you're listening to the headphones, is the sound clear or is it kind of choppy or breaking? What is it like? Clear. Is it clear? And do you have your favorite cards that you listen on the Yoto through the headphones? Of course. Which ones? The Minecraft stories, of which course. is a secret card no one's allowed to listen to. And the magic and mischief. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Did you finish the cards? No. You still have some um, left? No, a lot left. Okay, a lot left. Okay, so that's about the quality of the sound. Do you have any thoughts about how they look like and how f they feel on the head? They're my favourite colour and they're quite f comfy. Yeah, what about the, what about them, uh, what about the mouths? those bits here, uh, how do they feel on the ears? They nearly make me go to sleep. Why is that? It's so comfy. <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay. Uh, I think that's enough for other parents to know uh, how much you like them. Um, hopefully they appreciate it. Thank you very much. 
Now you have a little graphics on both of the speakers, which uh, my kids at least um, appreciated of the you know, picture of the boy and girl. They quite liked it. Now the inside is covered with a mesh. So if, um, if your kids decide to play around with the headphones and kind of investigate what's inside, um, there is a little bit of a protection that will stop them from damaging the membrane. Um, on the outside, on the outside, we have set of buttons and ports. Now we have volume up and skip, pause and play, and volume down and skip. Um, the power button, the uh, battery level button, and the Bluetooth button, USB-C port, and the two headphones jacks, as well as the LED to indicate a battery level and the Bluetooth connection. Now you can charge these headphones with the USB-C cable included or use your other cables. Um, the headphones will charge fully in about two to two and a half hours and last for about 20 hours playing or about 400 hours on standby. Um, subject to testing, uh, this is not something I'm going to be testing. 400 hours is quite a considerably long period of time. Now, um, the two headphones jacks, they can be used in uh, uh, multiple ways. You can either connect your uh, Yoto Mini or Yoto Player or other um, uh, Bluetooth, sorry, other um, uh, audio devices to it. Um, but also there is a, a, this extra functionality that Yoto uh, thought of is that if you have, you know, maybe two kits and two pairs of headphones, they can be connected with a cable or with a Bluetooth to a Yoto player, to the single Yoto player, and then those two pairs of headphones can be paired together. So your kids can enjoy um, audio, whether that jokes, stories, or podcasts, or radio simultaneously using single Yoto player, which is pretty good, pretty convenient, and um, you know it doesn't separate your kids and during listening. So, you know, they still enjoy them together. They may even have a little chat about something or, you know, um, showcase those reactions to what they listened to at the time. Um, so, yeah, so these are very, very sturdy, very lightweight at the same time. They weigh about 250 grams. And my seven-year-old is using these headphones continuously and he would put them on, listen to a music and dance or listen to a bo book and um, at the same time play Lego. So the lightweight design is very important. He, I didn't hear him complaining about how they feel or feed, which is positive, which is positive side um, um, to that uh, product. Um, they are compatible with majority, if not all of the Yoto uh, devices or any other Bluetooth audio um, devices and so on. Um, yeah, and they're they pretty durable. They should last a long time. Um, they have this nice, bright uh, fruit punch orange color. They're available in other colors as well. But they're nice and bright. They're soft. They look cool. They're wireless. They're convenient for the kids. Um, just because my boy's been using them for uh, quite, a, uh, quite a long time, they already know how to operate the buttons without looking at them. However, you know, the little instruction manual that they... Um, deliver as well. You know, if you keep it in a pouch, it's handy. They can always quickly eavesdrop on what to press and so on. Or just take them out, press the button, and put them back on. And the cable is not uh, uh, dangling or around and so on. Yeah, so it's a it's a nice product. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, no faults and so on. The buttons are snappy. They work the moment they are pressed. They fold nicely. They're perfect for traveling um, and so on. So let me know in the comment sections if you uh, have any questions or would like to find out more about these headphones. Uh, also, if you have any comments on how the you know the content delivery, uh, whether you have any suggestions to to how the um, the video is being made and so on. And additionally, you know if you if you think that there was something of a value in this video, press that like and subscribe button nice and early, which helps the channel to develop and reach um, uh, further audience across the uh, YouTube community. Um, yeah, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.